All right, Year 5. This week we are talking radial patterns, which is something that we actually talked a little bit about when you were in Year 3. So, when we talk about radial patterns, we talk about patterns that start in the middle and expand and grow out from the centre. That's compared to a linear pattern, which goes in a straight line. So that would be something like fish star, fish star. A radial pattern doesn't work like that. Like I said, it starts in the middle and grows and expands out. This is a really, really good way to mindfully draw, particularly without a template. So when you were in year three, I gave you a template to do this. You're in year five now, so I want you to have a go at doing this without a template. There are a few things that you really need to think about and be mindful of when you're doing a radial pattern in this way. And the first one is balance and symmetry. When you're doing something like this, you basically want to fold it in half and for it all to be the same. I think I said to you when we were in year three, that it's like having a, uh, having a pizza. You want every slice to be the same. You don't want to have one piece that's got all the mushrooms on it and one piece that's got all the capsicum on it. It's not enjoyable. <laughs> we want it to be balanced and we want every slice of the pizza to be the same. Our patterns are the same. We want to be able to take a little section of our radial pattern, have a look at it, and realize that it's exactly the same or as close as it can be when you're drawing something by hand to the other pieces of it. So that means that if you're gonna do four circles, you need to do four circles in every other section as well. So be mindful of that as you're drawing as well. Second thing is just being neat. It really helps. Um, when I do things like this, I like to do it in gray lead first and then go over it again with a fine liner or a texture. And the third thing that I want you to keep in mind is that this is meant to be a relaxing and mindful activity. So take your time, don't stress, and it doesn't matter if it's not perfect. It's something to keep you peaceful and calm and mindful and reflecting on your drawing. So concentrate on what you're doing, take your time and have a go. I'm going to start on one that I'm going to demonstrate to you by hand. No templates, nothing like that, just having a go. So I'm going to show you the start of one in a second, um, and then it's your turn. All right. All right, I've got my piece of paper in front of me, and I've just realised I've lost my pencil. Where did it go? It's all right, we'll grab a new one. All right, I'm going to just have a go at guessing where the middle of the page is. Like I said, it doesn't matter if this isn't perfect, so just pick a spot and then that's gonna be your starting place. Remember, this is a pattern that grows and expands from the middle. So whatever you do, you can't just like skip ahead. You've gotta start from the middle and let it grow out. So I'm gonna start with just some petal shapes and rather than going all the way around, I'm gonna start with one do one across. Now, if you're feeling really game and you want to really have a go, you can just start with doing fine liner if you want to. That makes me a bit stressed. So I'm just going to do gray lead. So I'm going to try and do eight little petal patterns in here. And then that is going to be the start, like the base of my little pattern. From here, I can grow it out. So I'm gonna use this sort of shape and I'm gonna put it on the top, whoop, joining all my petals up. Kind of creates another layer of my flower. And already you can see that mine is not gonna be perfect. It's not perfect already. So you just have to have a go and do your best. From here, I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to keep building my pattern. And you know what? I think I'm going to have a go at just doing it with a fine liner. It makes me a bit nervous, but we've got to try these things sometimes, don't we? I've got one of the markers that we usually use at school, which is like a permanent marker. So I'm going to put a piece of paper down underneath. 
and I'm just going to quickly go over the lines I've already done and try and tidy them up a little bit as well. Make them a bit more symmetrical, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. And then I'm just going to keep going. So from here, I'm going to speed up my video just so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm just letting it grow on its own. I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing in slow-mo with me talking. That would take forever because I think I'm going to spend a long time working on this and being mindful. All right, I'm going to do it and speed it up. So I've added a few more layers and you can see that it's growing and expanding out from the middle. You can use whatever lines and patterns you want to do this. Just go with the flow, whatever, com whatever is comfortable and whatever works. Um, I'm going to keep going till I fill the whole page, but I'm not going to make you watch that. But I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, so here is my finished radial pattern. You can see it's not perfect. Down here I ran out of room. There are some sections that are much bigger than the other. But because there's so much going on in it, those little mistakes you don't even notice. So you can't tell that I've made quite a few little mistakes. Lots of, lots of loops over here, not as many over here. It doesn't matter. It all is part of the artwork. Um, have a go. I'm really excited to see what you do. All right, you five. Good luck with your mindful drawing of your radial pattern. I know it's tricky to do it without the template. Even I find it tricky and it's not going to be symmetrical. It's never going to be perfect, but that's also just drawing and art. Not everything's perfect all the time. And it's about having a go and just being in the moment and concentrating on what's doing and what's happening in front of you. Instead of thinking about anything else, just concentrating on your drawing. All right, have a go, have fun. I look forward to seeing what you do.